bald cypress. Not native to this part of Virginia. It's over on the coast. Goes up the coast, Chickahominy River bottom. It's an Atlantic and Gulf Coast species. Goes pretty far up the Mississippi uh, watershed area. This one is when we did Don Redwood. I said, you won't have to worry about anything else except when we get the bald cypress, which is near the end of the semester. Here we are. <laughs> Not at the end, but here we are. This is a deciduous conifer where it drops the whole branchlet. This whole structure comes off, kind of like Don Redwood. But Don Redwood was, looking for a word from you guys, is opposite. The branchlets were opposite. <laughs> Very opposite to where like they were, the buds are like little ladder pegs. They perfectly come out. These are alternate to haphazard placement. They're just like chaotic almost. And then they're also more feather-like. Dawn Red would look more like, you know, a fur, much longer and straight out. These kind of look like feathers. It's a little more feathery. But if you're like feathery, not feathery, opposite and not opposite. That's your best bet, okay? These, they're, these are gonna fall off as they are on the Dawn Redwood. Now the fruits are different. I don't see any fruits on this one. Uh, maybe I do up there, but I will go buy another one that I saw yesterday had lots of fruit. Uh, the Dawn Redwood had a little box-like cone. Do you remember that? It was square. These are round. They look like little soccer balls. Even the little flat patches on the soccer ball, they have little flat scales that all put together form a ball. And then they actually disintegrate into those little scales. The cones break apart. So like the little patches on the soccer ball are all coming apart. So very different, a box-like cone and a little round cone. Uh, not the size of a golf ball, like a inch, inch and a quarter in diameter. Big enough that you don't have any trouble seeing them up there, but we'll, we'll, we'll glance by another one that has lots. Uh, this is your classic Delta River bottom swampy bayou, snakes hanging from the tree, horror film tree. You know, you're paddling and, you know, a snake drops out of the tree kind of thing. Uh, it's, a, it's a bayou swampy tree, but it's used as an ornamental all the way up into like New England. The cold doesn't really bother it at all. Then it's also known for in the swamps, we can probably peek and see some down here along the creek. The root systems where they get wet develop what are called cypress knees. The roots grow up out of the ground. So they form those where the uh, soil gets saturated and there's no oxygen in the soil. They're, they're not here, they're down at the creek. And they basically can tell you about how tall the water table gets. The higher the water gets, like in some of these bayous, they'll get very high. And from there up, they would taper and get smaller and smaller to where up here, there aren't any. So they can be planted as an ornamental without worrying about like the lawnmower striking roots. <laughs> yeah, because uh, unless it's flooded, it won't do that. They believe it helps oxygenate the root system when flooded because they stick up above the water. And they're very, very light, porous wood, and oxygen diffuses down and feeds the root system, keeping it alive when it's underwater.